Alright, what's popping, guys? Okay, so my bookshelf literally just fell. I think because there weren't any L brackets below it. I had to remove the TV and thank God I wasn't sitting over there. If not, I literally would have died. So anyways, I've decided for this week's video, we're gonna transform this mess into this. Alright, cool. What's up guys, my name is Daniel Tamago and I'm a year 3 finance student from the National University of Singapore. Aside from school, I'm also a full-time video producer and my work and my study requires me to sit at my desk for hours and hours every single day to get shit done. With universities now focusing more on e-learning and working from home has become the new norm, Zoom University is unfortunately here to stay for the foreseeable future and having a clean and highly functional desk setup is crucial for motivation and productivity at home. So this is gonna be the overall structure for this video. I will first start with how I plan and build this new workspace as well as share with you guys more about my current setup which is my main workhorse for studying and editing. In the second half of this video, I will be reviewing all of my new purchases for this desk setup upgrade as well as share with you guys how each new addition has value added to my overall productivity as a student. So the first thing with every room makeover is tidying up the place. Now I was already quite a minimalist to begin with so I didn't have much items that I didn't need lying around. The second step is to visualize the brand new look and start putting together the ideal setup. There is almost no limit to the amount of money that can be spent on a desk upgrade so I decided to set a constraint of $1,000 and it took me a couple of hours to finally settle with what I really needed that could fit the budget. The delivery was incredibly fast as well which was a huge plus. Alright, so I had the monitor unboxed and set up. I tried using it last night and I'm extremely satisfied with the product. But before I tell you guys more about the monitor, I just want to run you guys through my current setup. So this is the current setup that I use for work and for study. Okay, so this guy right here is the 2017 15-inch MacBook Pro. So Apple has already discontinued this line but I still find that it functions pretty well and it also has a touch bar which I use pretty often to adjust the brightness, the audio. So just a fun fact, I actually cracked the screen once before. So I was carrying this guy in between classes and my headphones wire actually got caught in between the laptop. So when I closed the laptop, it actually cracked the entire screen and I had to get it fixed. But anyways, speaking of headphones, these are from Audio Technica. So I use these for video editing and whatnot and these are actually my brothers. I'm sure he doesn't know. Okay, so next up we have the... This is the Apple iPad 6th Gen 2018 version. So Apple has also discontinued this line by still serving me really well and it has literally revolutionized the way I study in university. So as you can see, other than Netflix, there's only one other app on this iPad called Notability. And my entire three years worth of university notes are stored in this one app. Anything from lecture notes or even tutorials are done on this bad boy. So yeah, I could probably make an entire video of how I study with my iPad. Do let me know in the comment section if you want to see that sort of thing. Moving on! Okay, so this guy right here is the Thig Ikea desk. There's really not much to say about this guy. It's hard, it's sturdy, there's like a metal railing over here so that it won't bend. It's plain, it's minimalistic, it fits perfectly in my room. So yeah, I highly recommend this desk. I've used it for many years and as you can see, there are like battle scars over here. Don't worry, we're gonna fix that later as well. And anyway, this is the Milbury at Ikea chair. I have one of these at home and I have one of these at the office. It's another really great product from IKEA. I really love the chair. I don't have any problems with it. So yep, highly recommend this. Next up, we have the Apple Magic Keyboard. So these are actually from Office, but I brought them back home. So I'm also using a HP mouse over here, but we're also going to switch this up in a bit. This is the JBL Charge 4 Bluetooth speakers in red. So I actually travel a lot in between home, office, school, and sometimes overseas. I really wanted a speaker that was portable and and this guy's sound quality is actually incredible as well. So this guy also has insane battery life and it also doubles up as a portable charger. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so lastly, I feel like the easiest way for anyone to pimp up their workspace is by having neon LED lights. So first of all, I have this banana over here. You guys have seen it in my previous videos. So I bought this banana because I felt like it really suited the Tamago theme of yellow and white. And I also have this LED light strip over here. So both of these lights are actually really dirt cheap on Lazarus. Zada and I'll leave the links in the description if you guys want to check them out. Okay, so I'm expecting my IKEA delivery to come anytime right about... Mm. 
Ah, there it is. Okay, so I'm editing the video right now and I just realized how crazy that was. Like, if you heard the bell ring, right? The delivery guy literally came at the moment when I called it. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's the plan. Tonight I'm gonna unbox all of these and whatever needs fixing or drilling, I'll do that tomorrow afternoon. And after that, I think let's just head straight to the end of this video where I show you guys the final product of this, you know, what's this called? The ultimate productivity desk setup for students and content creators. Sign up for my online course right now. So, making up half the cost of my new purchases is the monitor and the mouse. This is a 27-inch monitor from a local brand called Prism Plus. I chose this model because it's relatively cheaper than an ultra-wide monitor coming in at $339 Sing dollars. As someone who deals with video and photo editing a lot, my main criteria was finding a monitor with perfect color accuracy and this Prism Plus model did a fantastic job. I also paid $2.90 for this app called Magnet which helps you neatly adjust your desktop real estate. Now, the price tag on the mouse is insanely hefty, but arguably my favourite piece from the entire setup. This is the Logitech MX Master 3 coming in at $169 Sing dollars, an insanely sexy and ergonomic beast. It has a max speed electromagnetic scrolling wheel, app-specific customizations for pretty much any software you are using, and The customizable keys and horizontal scrolling has significantly improved my workflow in Premiere Pro. But if you don't really do video editing or need customizable keys, then I would suggest going for a cheaper option for a mouse. The mouse is sitting nicely on a gaming mouse pad from Steel Series. The laptop is sitting on a B stand aluminium MacBook stand in Space Gray, and the monitor is sitting on a sleek matte black monitor stand from Deep Cool. I also bought this cool headphone and tablet stand from IKEA, and of course I had to throw in another neon LED sign for the aesthetics. For lighting, I decided to go with the Renat work lamp from IKEA as well as the Tanabli table lamp to give the corner of my room some retro lighting. With so many cables now on my upgraded desk setup, it was crucial to find a way to conceal everything. So I installed the Signum cable trunk from IKEA under my desk and also placed all of my charging stations into the Roma cable management box. Next, I had all of the cables stuffed into the Robalda cable tidy so every single wire under my desk is hidden neatly inside this intestine looking thing. I also bought two of these cable organizers from Shopee to help tidy all of my USB cables. Moving on to the shelves, this is the Billy Bookshelf from IKEA. I finally have a safe spot to store all of my books, a place to keep my camera equipment and also a storage place for my bags. Behind my desk is the Lerberg shelf from IKEA where I have my charging station and also a place to display my shoes. And and perhaps the ultimate game changer to the room is this pegboard wall shelf from IKEA, which is the perfect place to keep my stationaries, calculators, notebooks, earpieces, and photos. The Scadis pegboard line has a huge range of accessories that you can mount on your wall. Lastly, moving on to decorations, these artificial potted plants from IKEA are a staple for every setup. And I also bought this large plant to hide the ugly cables from my charging station. There was also a huge battle scar on my desk so I bought these retro vinyl coasters to cover them up and in case you're wondering what this giant painting is a friend of mine from NUS business school had it custom made for me as a gift from his previous startup finally we are left with a budget of $39.90 and I purchased this beautiful course companion from Carousel and there we have it this is the $1,000 upgrade so if you guys want to check out any of the products I've purchased in this video feel free to head to the links in the description in my opinion this is a thousand dollars well spent and thank you daddy lee for sponsoring a huge part of this so yeah class is dismissed